ได้جاءت على الوقتاتي ما نسحتها قلتها بيقول له والله امبارح دخلت الشلبي بإيميله امبارح دخلت الشلبي بإيميله يعني دخل على زوم بإيميله الأولانية دي والتلت اللي هو الفيديو لا Okay. Um, good morning, my students. Bridge builders need to know that changing the temperature of a material changes it. Okay, um, good morning, my student. Um, welcome to the physics session for today about the thermal expansion. Uh, today we are going to, to, to continue our discussion about the thermal expansion. Uh, we were talking about uh, the molecules and the gas law in the last time, and today we are going to continue on the thermal expansion, okay? Our So, our objective today for this, for this chapter is we are going just to start with the definition for thermal expansion, okay? And we are going to then, after that, we are going to talk about the linear expansion, expansively, and uh, Usual expansion of the unusual expansion of the water. Why water has some kind of anomalies in the expansion, and the last part will be about the application of expansion of matter. Okay, so first I just have to give you a, a very very 
basic idea about our the two important tools we are going to use for today's lesson is expansion okay we, and and we all of us know what we mean by expansion expansion means the condition of making some something larger okay it's a relation between the temperature and the volume or the size okay and contraction is the opposite to expansion okay Con contraction means you are just trying to decrease the size or decrease the volume of the material you have means you are going to decrease the temperature and by decreasing the temperature this will affect surely this will affect the temperature sorry the volume okay so the volume will be lower than it is before that okay so those are two main concepts or two main words we have just to keep uh just meaning of these two words okay so now we are going to just talk about what we mean by thermal expansion it's a, a tendency of matter to change and to change in the volume in response to a change in temperature means you will just start to increase the temperature okay you are going to 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 increase the temperature what will happen when you are increasing the temperature when you are increasing the temperature the volume will increase okay you can see here here you can you, you can just try to imagine like i i'm, I'm just trying to increase the volume in this part here Here you are start. You are going to just increase the, temp the the temperature, and after that, the volume will increase. Okay, so the volume will increase as a result of increasing the temperature of your 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 liquid. Anything. Okay, we are talking about expansion in general. Okay, we are talking about expansion of solid, liquid, gas. Okay, so expansion is something happens for the materials all the time okay okay so it's a change in the size as i told you okay i have to study the the the, the expansion i have for any linear expansion i have a parameter i call it alpha okay and alpha i call it the linear expansion coefficient okay so when i study the linear expansion coefficient i have a term this term is constant i call this term is alpha okay and alpha is a relation between what between the length before and after okay so if i have here for example if i have here this is delta l okay I have here this term here you can see this term delta L is a difference in length before and after okay so the length will 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 increase okay so the increasing in length will just be uh, expressed in this delta L is a difference between the length after and the length before the length after you are cooling and the length before you are cooling okay so you are heating okay delta l node is the original or the initial length okay the initial length okay Okay, so delta L will be.
So I, I'm, I'm sorry just for, I have just to do something, okay? But here again, we are going to continue, okay? So as I told you, okay, the thermal expansion, we have a parameter, we call it alpha, okay? And the alpha, we call it the linear expansion, okay? I'm sorry, uh, my student. Okay, we here we are going to continue again. Okay, uh, we were talking about the expansion, the thermal expansion. We were talking about the equation we are using to describe the thermal expansion. Okay, so we have here the delta L. Okay, and a relation between delta L, the change in the length, and L naught. Okay, L naught is the original length. Okay, and in addition to that, we have what we have alpha which is the expansion constant, okay? And we have delta T. We have delta T because we are going to change the, temp the temperature. So you are going to talk about the temperature before and the temperature after. The temperature before you are going to do some kind of uh, contraction or expansion and the temperature after that, okay? So I can just try to describe alpha in this way. Alpha will be equal to delta L over L node multiplied by delta T. And I will ask you a question now, okay? Can you predict what will be the unit of alpha, the expansion constant? Who, if you can answer this question, just raise your hand. If you can answer this question, just raise your hand. Okay, Rami, 
Rami? Uh, yes, Mr. I will not answer, but I have uh, the image, Mr. The screen is uh, the uh, WhatsApp. Screen? You yeah, Mr. The screen. What, what is the, what the problem with the screen? You put the screen of uh, your WhatsApp. You don't have the screen for in the... Now you can see? Yes. Okay, very good. Okay. Uh, okay, Ram. So, the unit of alpha or the expansion constant it will be one over Celsius or one over Kelvin, okay? So, because delta L is, is, is measured in meter and L2 is measured in meter. So, the, the rest is one over D. Okay, which you, which will be Celsius over one, okay, or one over Celsius or Celsius uh, to the power minus one, okay. I will ask you another question. Oh, another question, okay. What should we use to measure the temperature? We are we used to measure the temperature in Kelvin, okay, but in this in this topic in specific. Are we going for alpha? Are we going to use temperature uh, in, in, in Kelvin or in Celsius? Do you have any idea about this? Okay, I will tell you now, we are, it's, it will not make any difference if you are going to measure the temperature in anything you want, okay? So, suppose you are going to measure the temperature in Celsius. Because you are going to measure not just the temperature itself, you are going to measure the difference in temperature. So suppose I have a temperature here, uh, 30. Okay. Suppose you have a temperature, 30. And the other temperature will be 20, okay? So the difference will be 10, okay? And if you are going to change this into Kelvin, okay, so this will become 300, 303 and 293. It will be the same difference. So we are just trying to uh, subtract temperature from each, from each other. So we are going to subtract the final temperature from the original temperature. So this will not make any difference to the temperature. So either you are going to use your temperature in the Celsius or in the Kelvin, this will not make any difference. So you are free to use any unit you want, okay? Um, Salman? Yes, Mr. Uh, you have any question? Some, yes, Mr. Can you explain again? Because uh, all the time you were explaining, we could see only WhatsApp. Okay, Salman. Again, I will explain this again. Okay. So uh, we 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 started with definition. What we mean by expansion? Okay. We expansion. We said that expansion is the increase in the size of uh, a solid or liquid or gas when you are increasing the temperature. So means we said this many times that every material the volume of every material will increase by the temperature by increasing the temperature and will decrease too by the decreasing in temperature so it's a relation between the temperature and the uh, volume okay but we are going to talk now about linear expand expansion so we are just the two parameters that we are focusing on are the length and the temperature. The increase in length will be just uh, become the result of the increasing of temperature. When you increase the temperature, the length will, will increase, okay? And I can just try to measure this by something I call it the expansion factor, okay? Or the expansion coefficient. This expansion coefficient is just to something tells you how much you, you made some kind of a change to the how much change did you make to the temperature okay so when you are increasing the temperature okay this will just try to to be converted into a change in the in the temperature
Okay, so now, here you can see the difference between I have a gas and I started to just try to uh, heat this gas. What will happen? You can find here when the gas is cooled, okay, the particles are closer to each other, okay? But what will happen when you are going to e e add some temperature to the gas, okay? The particles will start to move faster and the interaction between the particles will become faster and faster. And this will just give the gas a uh, much degree of freedom to move freely, okay? So you can see here the difference between this picture and this picture, okay? Particles are a little bit freer, to, more free to, 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 to move, okay? They can just move in any direction, okay? And this is the effect of temperature, okay? You can see here, there is a change. There is a change in the volume. That is, this volume must be lower than the volume after that, okay? And as a result of that, we have two kind of, of, of expansion, okay? We have volume expansion and linear expansion. But we are going just to focus now for this chapter about the linear expansion. Linear expansion, I'm ju I just deal about it, deal with the temperature before and after and the increase in the length, okay? The increase in the length, okay? So, liquid have a special character in, in the contraction or expansion, okay? Because, yeah, liquid can just try to increase in the size or increase in volume when we are trying to increase the, the amount of temperature, subject the liquid to a very, very high temperature, especially water. We are talking now about water. This phenomenon is about water, okay? But it shows some kind of random behavior or anomalous, okay? very, very specific character or property for the water at very low temperature. And we are going to see this after that, okay? So as you see here, this is the relationship between the parameters. We have, we, we, we were spoken, that we, we just spoke about in few minutes. We have here, this is the delta L, the difference in the length, the L node with this, which is the original length, alpha, which is the expansion constant, okay? And delta T, which is the difference in temperature, okay? So we have difference in temperature, okay? And this will just try to translate it into difference in length. There is a difference between, as you are going to increase the temperature, as the, the delta T will increase, delta L will increase too. As delta T will decrease, delta L will decrease too, okay? So this is a relation between, okay? So this is a relation between delta L and delta T, okay? You are going to increase the temperature, okay? The, temp the, the length of the, of, of your, of your, uh, anything, the length of your liquid, solid gas will increase, okay? Okay, so again, as I told you before, water can show a very, very um, different behavior from other liquids, okay? So what we expect first, 
let, let us just talk about the expectation of the water behavior, okay? The normal behavior should be like that, okay? You are going to increase the temperature. The length is going to increase too, okay? For the water. And you are going to decrease the temperature, the volume or the, the, the length will decrease too, okay? But this is the anomalous will happen to the water, okay? At degree four, four, four degrees Celsius, okay? Water will just start to expand again. This is a very, very uh, weird, this is unexpected behavior, but can we, how we can just explain this, okay? To explain this behavior for what, for water, for water, you have to understand that the water molecule is connected by, the water molecules is, is connected by, if you are going to just try to represent the water molecule, okay? You have here, this is the hydrogen atom. You have here, this is the hydrogen atom. And the hydro hydrogen atom, we have, in addition to the hydrogen atom, we have two oxygen atoms, okay? So we, we know this bond, but which is connected, connected the, the molecule of water together, okay? We call this bond hydrogen bond, okay? Hydrogen bond happens when you have two, uh, high electronegative atoms and you will have the we will find the hydrogen atom located or subjected with or surrounded by two high electronegative um, atoms okay so i have here in this molecule i have oxygen atom okay two oxygen atom and in between i have the hydrogen okay so the the, the difference between the electronegative of the oxygen and the hydrogen making what we call it the hydrogen bond, okay? So what does the hydrogen bond uh, make when we are talking about the cooling of water? When you are going to cool the water, the hydrogen atom, uh, the hydrogen bond, sorry, will be more and more effective, especially at temperature four degree, okay? At a very, very low temperature, temperature four degrees Celsius, this bond will start to be very, very um, effective and will start to show some kind of anomalous to the behavior of water. As I told you before, the normal behavior of water at degree four, okay, it has to be contracted. It has to show some kind of contraction, okay? But thanks to the hydrogen bond, this is what it will make. It will just let the water expand, okay? So this behavior, you have just to understand this, this behavior is special for the water, okay? We don't have this kind because not every liquid has the same kind of hydrogen bond, okay? Hydrogen bond can be existed in some molecules, okay? Uh, not every molecule has the same kind of hydrogen bond. So the effectiveness of the hydrogen bond is showing for, to us by this way, by just, um, at the, this degree, the four degrees Celsius, the water will just start to show some kind of expansion. And instead of just showing the normal contraction that we already have, we already knew this, okay? So I can see now some of you have some questions. Yes, Abdu? Uh, yeah, Mr. Um... Can you uh, like please uh, the lesson? Uh, which page we are now like in the uh, in the physics? We are in the in the chapter about the expansion of the liquid, solid, and gas. Okay. 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 Thank you. You're welcome.
Malak. Mister, for the girls section, we took till chapter thirty-two. Thirty-two. Okay. Um. Okay. Just this is because we. Yes. We have already. We have. We knew this very very later. So I'm going to offset this from the first from the next period or the next session. Yes. And we are going to continue based on your schedule. Okay. So for the next session, we will. Yeah, but just just try to focus with us right now. Do you have any question about this part? No, no, no. As we took it before, this is just like refreshing for us. But what I mean is that for later on, since like the next session, we will be following our schedule. Yeah, you are going. We are going to follow your schedule. Okay. Don't we don't have any problem with this? Thank you. No, thank you. Okay, Muhammad, Muhammad Subhi. Mr. Can you just repeat the last part for uh, the volume of uh, hydrogen and water? Okay, okay, Muhammad. Okay. Uh, so again, I'm 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 going just to talk about this because this is a very very important behavior to understand. Uh, as I told you, the normal the normal behavior of uh, the normal behavior of water or any liquid, it can just by increasing the temperature it will show some kind of expansion, okay? And by decreasing the temperature, it will show some kind of contraction, okay? This is a normal behavior. But the, uh, the different about water is water, thanks to the hydrogen bond uh, between the two molecules of water, uh, the two just uh, hydrogen atom, uh, sorry, the two oxygen atom and the hydrogen in between, this just, bring us a very, very uh, different idea that at a very, very low temperature, which to be in a specific, we have at uh, degree four, four degrees Celsius, this will just start to show this behavior, Muhammad, okay? It will just start to, and instead of just expand, uh, just trying to contract the water, the water will just start to, expand okay so this behavior will start will appear at degree four okay and instead of just moving to the contraction side it will move to the expansion side and this is very this is unexpected behavior okay uh, and this can be explained only just in the existence of the hydrogen bond okay because if you don't have that same hydrogen bond you will not see this behavior happening in any way, okay? You will not see this behavior uh, by any uh, factor, by any comparison will happen. So this behavior is happening because, is happened because the hydrogen bomb, okay? Because we have the two high electronegative atoms, which, which are oxygen atoms, and in between I have this atom, hydrogen. So the hydrogen atom will be just start to be um, connected with the two atoms, okay, located between them, and the two oxygen atom will affect in the behavior of hydrogen atom. And this will make what? I, if I have a, a, a water molecule, molecule here, okay, as you are going just to, to decrease the temperature, the molecules start to decrease the heat, the amount of energy, the internal energy we have, okay? And at certain moment, okay, thanks to the hydrogen bond, the amount of heat, the internal energy will increase again. So just this will just push the particles or the molecules of the water to expand again, okay? So this is behavior, this is the behavior we are talking about. So, You can see here, here this is the ice, okay? And you can see here this, how the, the particles are just try to be um, organized in the, in the crystal, okay? So here, this is the cold water, this is the warm water, okay? And here, this is what I'm talking about. You just try to think about this, this is the hydrogen atom, and 
every one of this like this the 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 here this lines representing the oxygen atom okay so you are just trying to to imagine that every hydrogen atom okay we have trillions of this hydrogen atom happening everywhere in the in the world okay and this behavior is happening all the time when you are going to increase or decrease the temperature of the water okay so what are the application of this phenomenon okay so to understand the uh, the, the the application of this phenomenon just try to think about this uh, the stations the railway stations okay they are using some uh, a very very the roads of the, the roads or the <clears throat> the blades of this railway station it just trying to put this in their mind when you are when they are designing this thing they are trying to yeah maybe the, in the in the summer okay the root will just try to expand okay so the root will just when you are when you have a, a blade or a, or, or a, the surface of the rear, rear root station try to expand you are going to put this in your mind when you are designing this okay here you can find that here this is this is what we are talking about okay this is something we, you have to put in your mind when you are designing uh, some kind of railway station. So, thanks to the expansion of the of the of the of this solid in the in the summer, okay, this will happen all the summer. And what will happen in the in the winter? Winter, the opposite phenomena will happen. This will happen by contraction. So expansion in the summer, contraction in the um, uh, contraction in the winter. This will make the railway station. So when you are designing this, just try to keep some social distancing between the these two. Okay, just to let them to expand or contract based on the season. Okay, so this is the effect of temperature. Okay, something might expand because of increasing the temperature, something else is going to um, contract because of temperature, okay? Okay, Salman, do you have any question? Yes, Mr. Yes. Uh, before, because the meeting is about to end in three minutes, so Mr. Can you explain the uh, linear expansion formula again? Okay. How to apply it in questions? Okay, Salman. So again, the linear expansion, as I told you, the equation we are using to to measure the linear expansion is consisted of two parts okay the length or the difference in the length of the of the solid or liquid okay and you have here the original length multiplied by the uh, by alpha which is uh, expansion coefficient and multiplied also by delta t okay which is a difference in temperature so as much as salman you are going to increase the temperature okay the length will increase so try to imagine that delta t increased by a factor 10 so the difference in temperature is about 10 degree okay this will just try to uh, translate it into increase in the length so the length will increase too okay so those are the relation between and I'm can, I can just try to measure, to just try to put this alpha in one side, okay? Just to find the value of alpha by itself. I have here delta L over L naught multiplied by delta T, okay? The all, I didn't do anything new. I just tried to find the value of alpha by itself, okay? By just trying to transfer all the all the other factors in the other side okay so now i have what i have the value of alpha alpha 
is equal to delta M over L naught uh, over delta T, okay? So the, the unit I'm using to measure alpha, okay? It's one over degree Celsius or one over degree Kelvin, okay? And why this? Because you have here delta L. Delta L is measured by meter, okay? And L2 is the measure by meter. So those are going to just cancel each other. And what will be the left? What I have here in the, in the equation, okay? In the equation, I have only one over T. And one over T is one over Celsius, one over degrees Celsius, which is Celsius, uh, to the power minus one, okay? So those are the, the, the unit we are using to measure the uh, alpha, okay? Another thing we are going to, to, to just say here, say here, is we are just using the, you, you, can, you, are, you are free to use, either you are going to use uh, temperature in Celsius or in Kelvin, okay? If you are, if you remember,